M0FX3 Hamtech. Welcome to my videos on this mini network radio with a microphone. It looks really cool and you've got an antenna there as well, which I'm pretty sure is GPS because I went for the GPS model, which does cost more. So let's check it out. I know hardly anything about this device. I don't even know if it's got the Play Store. I know it works with Zello because look at the box, but whether it's got the Play Store, this is a W5 network radio here. I really like these, although they're only 3G Wi-Fi devices, Bluetooth, they've got an, a proper radio in them and you can actually buy them for about £100. So you can access your normal analog repeaters with, with them as well as the usual apps like Zello, Pina, Echolink. So let's just unbox this for now and uh, let's see how we get on with that. Price-wise, it was about £80 and yes, I do have to buy any radio that I, uh, that I show in my videos, but I just love having lots of radios so first impressions are good with the box it's a nice looking box we've got zello pamphlet there user manual looks quite basic um very basic user manual to just okay <laughs> piece of paper now because this is the gps model we have a gps antenna Look at the microphone, it's bigger than the actual device. Uh, it's called Ham Geek, this one, so it's a bit different than what's on the box. On the box, you're seeing the word Zello, but it's the same device. So let's take that out. Microphone, and the connection is RJ45. So I wonder if it'll fit my other network radio that's similar. We've got a cigarette lighter adapter and a mains adapter as well. So I think I'll probably be using the the cigarette lighter. Now, I think it's quite good value that these, this is all included. And then we have the, I'm sure it's the GPS antenna, but we'll find out soon. And there is a stand where it stands on. Uh, and what's this, some sticky, oh, Velcro stuff there for Velcroing the stand. Oh, that's a good idea. And look how small the network radio is. Now, like I said, I'm hoping it's got the Play Store on it, but I don't know if it has got the Play Store, but I'm, actually, I'm really hoping that it has. So let's take everything out. We've got a couple of screws there. That's the box done. Put it on this table. And to show you the size of it, I'm gonna put the this radio next to it. Everyone's got a UVK5 these days. Let's just show you the size of this device and how small it is. Like so. We've got the programmable button, P1, P2. I don't know what one man and two man means. Up and down, menu, exit, microphone. And it looks, well, you can see the GPS antenna, the DC input there, and then the stand. I will put it on the stand because you do get a bolt. Okay, and then we're going to power it with our DC device. I'm going to plug this in. The stand, as I said, there is some screws that come for the stand. So let's get it in the stand because otherwise it's, uh, it's just gonna be flapping around like that. So I'll just get that in. Now you do get two small screws like this, but then you get a big chunky one that looks like this. So let's turn it round and see if we can make some sense of how this is gonna go. Oh yeah, it's quite straightforward. Or oh, just drop the screw. <laughs> it looks like the camera sort of size. Do you know what I mean? Camera holder size. So this is going to be fiddly. Um, drop the screw. I'm trying to do this so you can see what I do. Drop the screw in. In the hole. Okay, it goes all the way through. And then I'm gonna hold the screw in place. And then, it's a nice big screw, mind. That ain't falling out of there. And do that up. Yeah, oh, that's good. Yeah, sorry if I'm in the way. But that works really well and you can bend it and swivel it, I'll leave it a bit loose, and then it's actually got two antennas. One is marked as GPS, and one is marked as, um, you know, is this for the 
So that's cool. So that's going to go screw it on there. I'm having so much fun with this. Uh, GPS antenna, we're going to screw it here. And remember, this came with it. I'm not going to leave my little K5 out. No, I'll leave it on a low volume so we can all listen to my favourite channel, which is Hubnet. So, um, this is a geek's dream. Now, I will say that, you know, it's going to be an older version of Android. It's a bonus if it's got, if it has got Play Store, that is a bonus, yeah? Otherwise, you'll be installing APKs using the built-in browser and these kind of gadgets are always going to have uh, some sort of built-in browser, I hope. I hope. So that's the GPS connected, like so. And I can sort of angle it back, look, get it a, a nicer height, and that, that actually looks really good. So there's our cigarette attachment. We'll get the power in there. It's actually really handy because that attachment, that power size, fits many of my other devices. Let me just check it because it's 12 volts so let me just check it on um on one of my scanners there's my sds 200 which i love by the way you know a lot of people say why so many radios i'll tell you now my ho hobby got a million times better when i had too many radios yes and it works fine so that means i've got a nice included don't forget in the 60 pound that i paid a nice, a really good quality power cable. I think it was about 67 delivered. Okay, I'm keeping the other network radio in the background as well. Let's plug in the mic. So we've got all these attachments. I mean, the mic alone, I'll check the wiring on it and see if it fits my other network radio. But the mic alone is worth, you know, it's, it's not a, a, a rubbish mic. It's a nice mic and it's got a really decent belt clip. Um, which we're going to need because it's quite, you know, it's got quite a weight to it. So, right. So where am I going to put that so it doesn't fall down? Sorry about this. I'm faffing a bit, aren't I? I can see why we got the Velcro, but I need to find its permanent home before I use the Velcro. Or buy some Velcro. doesn't cost much. So, all right. We've got the power supply in. Let's turn it round uh, the back. I don't think we plugged it in from the back. So a lot of wires on this, but it'll go on a counter anyway. You won't even hardly see it. So just turning it around like so. You can see it goes in there. Just plug it in. Turn it around and get everything up high so we're not so we don't keep dropping things. GPS there. Put the mic behind here. Right, remember I've never turned this on. So that, I don't think that's an on thing. Now, maybe this is the on button. We're going to find out now. We're going to hold down the exit. I know what, turn the power supply on. That always helps, which you've just done. And the, the, un, the I'll show you. It lights up red. And even I've got an amp there to show the draw. Try again with the power on. I might have to actually read the menu. Do you reckon it will be the green one? How about this one? Ah, there's a push on what could be the volume. I know with these things, it's not always the volume. Let's hold it down. Red light came on then. Do I need to hold it for longer? Hold it. Way. So it's pre-installed with Zello. That's a, that's a plus. I'm going to need to nog in my account. And it's it is touch screen. Wow, nice intro. So let's let everything fire up. Sign in. I'll have to log in with my account. Just trying to think what else we can see. I just want to see if it, what else has already been pre-installed on here. We go like that, settings and radio settings. I can't see that it's got Play Store, but let's do that. So the enter button. 
It's got Bluetooth, that's good. So we'll, we will be testing that. Let's have a go. Zello. So we definitely don't know how to install any, <laughs> any further apps on it. I'm just pushing these buttons to see what they do. And the P1 and P2. Got the microphone there. I, maybe it's not touch screen. Just pressing all the buttons to see what it does. Okay, well, I'm going to log in. So we don't have to sign up. If you have an account, you hit there. So I go down this way. So to log in, you just press the green button and you can start typing in your username and password. You press this, it's not touch screen, you go up and down and you start to type. Okay. A. I don't think which one it is. So what you're doing is you're entering, you're, going, you're choosing with the up and down arrow, okay? And you're entering with the green button. So let's go back to letters. And there is a timeout, and when it times out, it does make you start again, which is quite annoying. But anyway, let's go to A, we want caps. Just literally learning how to use it. And we go enter. We've got capitals now. M starts to appear here. So one thing to remember is to get your Wi-Fi in there. It's a 30 second timeout, which is quite annoying. So we exit it completely, go menu, go down, oops, too many times. Well, we're finding out more settings as we tinker through this. So we want to go to wireless LAN menu, turn that on, like so. I think it'd probably be good to pair a Bluetooth keyboard to this because otherwise, you know, it takes ages to do it, you know, without a keyboard. So we'll put that in and we'll start to enter the password for our broadband router. During tinkering, I've noticed that, that it holds, actually holds two, two SIM cards in the bottom there. And on the side, there's a uh, micro USB. So that's all interesting. So we're going to plod on just getting our our password in there. Right, we managed to get it in there, but it's just getting used to how this keypad works. You're using the arrows a lot, even for the enter. So we've got the password in there. We've connected to the internet. So now we'll go back to Zello, press menu. See if it logs in or not. So we put in our username by going up and down with the arrow, select it and then press the green menu. Then you actually exit. Then you move down to where it says password, press menu. Then you do it again. So. Uh, the password on mine starts with capital I, and we're still in capitals at the moment. So we go I, enter, and then we want to go back to small letters. So you can hold your finger on it, it's quicker. Uh, and then we're going to select small, and then select the next letter. So you're holding it down, like I said. And then we'll go all the way through. And when we get to the end... So once you get to the end, you're thinking, right, how do I enter it? Well, you actually go back, you press exit, 
and it's got the thing there. Then you go down, keep going down, and then you click until it's highlighted. See, our sign in is hi highlighted. Connect with Cisco, WebEx, or forgot user. So up to, to sign in. Then you hit menu. So it's going to start signing in. Obviously, it's going to be as good as your password. So luckily, my password is right. Okay. So selecting channels. There's them. Let's go like so. I'm just selecting me. No, that's going. So we go exit. Just trying to see how we, you know, move to these channels here. There's John. I might just try and find. There's our NR006. That's one of mine. So what we want is someone to... Um, I want to move to channels here so I can then just go to the channel. You can add channels as well. How do we... This is the navigation side of things now. You can see I just keyed there. So that sounded fine. I'm just going to work out how we just get across to the channels tab. Recent messages. Ah, there you go. See that I'm hitting the little man and things are moving. That's the one. Right, channels, that's better. So now the network radio channels are starting to appear. So at the moment, I would say this is a toy for Zello. Whether we could add any more apps is another matter. And we are brand new to the device. It is cute, but it's quite annoying to enter everything in. But let's give it a go. So um what channel are we on let's go to channel zero zero is quite popular on network radios i know this is a little two one zero where's zero? Oh, let's try one then right and then if we want to select the three dots to put us into solo mode, we use the two men. There you go, menu, status, menu. Available is everyone, but really we want solo. Solo means we'll only um, hear one channel at a time. Oops. So, you know, I want you to see this to see uh, that it is a bit fiddly to use this device. I'm going to hit go to the channels again and then enter that channel. Right, it's small, but we are in channel 00. M0FXB, call in for a contact. In summary, I think it's a bit too fiddly to enjoy using myself. Uh, I know that's a bit harsh, but that's what I feel like at the moment. Let's listen to myself back because we can just, oh, we can't tap the history. We have to use the, the little two man to navigate until we get to up here. We want the message. See it going across. That's the history. And normally, a message, if you want the history, normally we can scroll up and down the history to listen to history. Let's go down, enter, back to channel zero. Calling for a contact on zero one, calling for a contact, zero one. There is a volume, I've done the volume. I'm curious to know about Bluetooth, actually. i grab one of my Bluetooth devices. Okay, just looking at the settings and stuff. We go exit, exit. You've got the Zello, then you've got settings. And yes, Bluetooth does work. It's picking some stuff up there which is good to know and uh, wireless LAN there's another Bluetooth setting there and it's on it's picking up stuff straight away so 
Bluetooth does seem to work. Radio settings, again, it's, it's Bluetooth. So you, you're getting used to the arrows now. Green button to enter, channel there, enter. We just want someone to, to call, really. Calling for a test on 0101. Anyone monitoring network radio, 001. I'll just turn on my other network radio, see if I can log into a, a different account. See, there's a little question mark come up, like someone may have come back. So, FXB, oh, thanks for that. I'm just testing out one of these little ham geek mini network radios. It's, it's tiny, but it does have a big microphone. How do I sound? Back to you. Issues on my side. Over. Yeah, so it's good audio, no problem with the audio. Oh, that's that's good to know. I'm sort of talking about, I don't know, a foot away from the mic. Um, have you heard of this device? Uh, I'm located southwest UK. Let's see if this Bluetooth thing's detected. Uh, no, unfortunately, I haven't heard about it. Um, I'm just using a T320. Uh, device and um, and you're coming loud and clear. I'm uh, located in uh, Toronto, Ontario. Over. Yeah, uh, I sort of know. To, um, sorry, the the it's in Canada, isn't it? And uh, I had a friend who lived there years ago. So yeah, this is a, it's, it's like a miniaturized network radio. I know the T320 works well, and it's very small, There's, the screen isn't touch, and really it just runs Zello, and it's not running anything else at all. I'm not sure if it can, I don't even know if it's got, um, of what Android is on here, because I'm looking at the settings, and I can't see anything at the moment. So it's it's called Ham Geek, and it, I think they sell for about 65 pound. I thought I'd test it out, it's actually a mini base station, back to you. So we'll test the right, Bluetooth. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll have a look. I'll look it up and we'll see what's... Uh, I don't want to lose this station. However, I have too many hand gears, so probably will not, uh, not looking for it next uh, Yeah. Expanded, but uh, no. it's always good to, you know, uh, check new devices. It definitely works. See how they work. Um, uh, over. Yeah, Roger, I run a blog, so you'll see this, this uh, radio on my blog called M0FXB. Activity, so I'll let you go. And uh, if you need anything, just call again. Uh, this is V3VTE. V3VTE, M0FXB clear, 73, all the best. Well, it obviously works fine on Zello. Once you get your head around the initial setting it up, I can get clear. how you can have great fun just chatting on Zello with this. Whether you can use Peanut and Echolink, I don't know. Uh, I just need to get my head around how the whole thing works. It's got a micro USB connector there. Does that mean it has a battery or does it just for... I've tried a peripheral item. It didn't connect it. Let's just go menu. Uh, look, do you see that? When I press the um, the menu button, it did PTT. So that's worth knowing. The green button is the PTT. The exit is acting as a back button, which is good. And then we're going to go over to the Bluetooth, so enter there, down to Bluetooth menu, and um, I think I've connected this, so we're going to try the, the Bluetooth connector, pretty sure it's the one that's called MT, pairing, and if it pairs this will go make a beep sound. Make sure that it's in pairing mode. Ah, we did hear a beep sound. Uh, did it just turn itself off or was it paired? No, uh, let's just exit. Go back to Zello menu and reconnect. Ah, oh, it's disconnected, so not really sure if this is connected or not at the moment. OK, 
keep going. Using headset. Exit. Just watch and watch and learn me. <laughs> watch me learn. Oh, I can't even speak properly. Right. Right. Let's turn it off and on. Let's turn it off. That's off. Let's see if that vanishes. Going up and down with the arrow menu. Yeah, I think it did vanish. So then we'll turn it on. That's on now. Go up and down. Oh, there's a few Bluetooth devices in this house. Let's go exit and then back in. There you are. So it's definitely the MT one. Pairing I chose then. And you hear it making the noise. I think it did work. So let's go down to this one again. Into that channel. And then we'll... I'm just listening to the headset. Yes, it is working. Uh, just a quick one. Can you still hear me now? M0FXB. See down here, that's your Bluetooth there. So if I select it, you can go up to Bluetooth. And that way it makes sure that when you, if you say had a Bluetooth microphone, like the B01, let me try that. So if we disconnect this one, turn it off. Completely. So that, that did work anyway. There's your B01, we'll turn it on. Maybe it's as big as the device. Then we'll go back. Choose, you go and exit. See if it picks up the B01. If we exit completely, turn it back on. Hopefully. Ah, B01. Saying pairing. There you are, that's the pairing sound that we recognize for the B01. Exit. Up and down, and back to Zello. Join that channel, and it's working. So let's just get the volume up. I've got a notice, I, it's still selected for Bluetooth here. I know it's got a camera emblem there, but I don't think there's a camera in this. One, two, test, test. So if we can, I'd be nice to listen to the history now which is the little dialog box. So I push the little man, no. Right, let's see what the camera does. Unknown error, yeah? <laughs> let's push the two little men and go up to the history. Right, okay, and then you go, you're sort of moving around using different buttons. See that, two little men. Enter in the history. Now, how can we go back it allows me to type a message, but I want to see the history. Um, it's not allowing me to, it's not showing history, maybe because it needs an SD card or something, I don't know. But it's not allowing, if I just keep going, we can type a message, or can we? Uh, let's go. Push it. Ah, that allows you to replay a last message. Yeah, and that is coming from. That did come from the B zero one. Let's do it again. Okay. There's zero zero. Let's try a contact on zero zero. 
M0FXB calling for a contact, M0FXB. And we know that Bluetooth is working. Yeah, hi to the first station that replied to me, it's M0FXB Andreas, and hi to Winston. Over to the first station, and just give me an audio check, I'm just testing this little, little rig out that I've got on network radio back over to the first station. Well, it works. This is WRWY653, coming in from Indiana in the United States. Uh, very nice to meet you. Name's Andrea, Southwest UK. Uh, I wonder if my audio is okay, because I am via a Bluetooth mic, but I can turn that off and try my fist mic. Um, it's, it's pretty clear. Um, there's a little bit of breaking in it, but I can make out everything you're saying. Let me come, let me just turn it off. How about now? I've just switched to the uh, the fist mic that's included with the set. And thanks very much for the you know for the audio check. Uh, back to you, and nice to meet you. Right, back to the. Uh, no problem, you as well. I actually just added this channel last night. After uh, pretty sure I watched one of your YouTube videos on Oh, very nice to meet you. Well, you're in the end of this one. I've, I've been on this set for half an hour trying to get it to work. <laughs> it's, um, the problem with it is that there's no touch screen and it's tiny. And trying to w look, fathom how the buttons allow you to navigate around the Zello screen to get the password in. But it, it is working. It has Bluetooth. It's called HamGeek. It's tiny. It's, it's, it's as small as the uh, B01 fist mic. Back to you. Check that out once you get it loaded. Uh, uh, enjoy talking to you and I enjoy your uh, your content on YouTube. Uh, so uh, I'll let you go, but it's good talking to you. WRWY653, back to you. WRW653, well, very nice to meet you, of course. And as you can tell by my many videos, I love using Zello. I always have done. Big fan of Zello, as is Winston. So I'll say 7-3 to you, quickly back to you, and then if you could put it round to Winston. Uh, 7-3 to you, and uh, we'll be looking for you in the future. So this has ended up to be quite a long video. Looks like Winston's gone. 7-3, thanks for watching. I need to spend more time with this. I need to work out if I can load more apps to it. If I could get something like Peanut on there would be really handy. Get my hand around. There's no browser on this at all. This is what I need to learn. Um, uh, and then I can really make my mind up. And it's not an expensive device. And it's a very nice looking device. And you get a lot for your money um, in hardware. Um, all right, we've got a GPS antenna, but how do we look up the GPS? And so much more to learn. 7.3, all the best. Ham Geek Mini Network Radio, all the best.